Hello dear fitness enthusiast and in today's video I'll be reacting to this popular video that's titled fitness life hacks trainers are keeping from you. I thought hey I'm a trainer I'd like to know what fitness life hacks I'm keeping from you. I saw this video in my feed in my recommendation and added it to watch later. I didn't really watch this video until now because I wanted to capture my genuine reaction. So yeah let's get started right away and see what I have to say about this video. Let's face it, most of us would like to look good, have the body of a sculpted Adonis, without having to constantly diet and spend three hours in the gym every day. We don't all have the cash to be told how to work out by a rather strict personal trainer, and who on earth wants to go under the knife and have their belly fat suctioned out and then have a surgical six-pack made? We want the best results with the least amount of effort, and today we're going to tell you how it's done. You know, that's really true. A lot of people want the best results, but they don't want to put in the time or money or invest into it. But this is the truth. You want real results, you'll have to put in the work. You have to be consistent and it takes a long time. You're not going to get instant results, especially if you want results that you can sustain for a lifetime. 14. Don't work out first thing. While we might admire people that wake up early and start doing their exercise routine, there's quite a bit of evidence that tells us that this is not a good thing at all. Your muscles and joints, according to most health sources, are just not ready. You need to warm up first, and so make sure you've walked around a bit before you work out. As for eating something before you exercise, well, that's a debate still raging. Some experts say if you want to burn more fat, work out before you eat. Then again, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics tell us that it's better to have a small snack. The best kind of meal for an energy boost in the morning would contain simple carbs such as a bowl of yogurt and some fruit. Alright, so when it comes to the topic of working out first thing in the morning, for a lot of people it's not a matter of whether it's ideal or not. It's a matter of this is how I want to get my day started. It motivates me to get started with workout as soon as I wake up so that I can get through with the most important thing and get a strong start to my day. If you want to do that, it's a great idea. You want to work out early in the morning, late in the evening, whatever it is. It depends on how you can manage your schedule. More than the timing of the workout, what's more important is that you do get the workout in. It, it's more important to be consistent. And the second thing, whether you need to have anything to eat before you work out, it's advisable not to eat anything too heavy when you're working out because it's going to make you feel uh, nauseous. That's not good. But yeah, having a little bit of something to eat before you work out is good. If you're going to have a cardio session, some simple absorbed carbs can be a great option and also some amount of protein before you work out is going to help you a lot. 13. Couch Potato Workout If you seriously don't want to leave your house to go to the gym, then use your house to get fit. You can do dips on your couch or tables or chairs and just a few of these once or twice a day will work out your triceps. We assure you it won't take long to see a difference. Add to that one plank a day in the comfort of your room. Start with just a few seconds and build up to a minute. Most of the experts out there will tell us that a minute is a decent plank time. This will make a huge difference to your stomach muscles. When you're in the kitchen, simply lunge now and again while waiting for something to cook. If you can't do that, you can go down on your heels with a straight back. Put the weight mostly on your back heels. This is called a squat. If you're feeling super fit, jump up at the end of it. You could also do a burpee in your room, and these are great for your body. Just these simple exercises you can do while watching TV and waiting for the kettle to boil can make a profound difference to your body. You really don't need the gym to get in shape, nor do you have to buy the 20 minute hellish workout video. Alright, so here's the deal, yeah, staying active throughout the day that's definitely going to help you burn more fat and stay more active, it's healthy overall because that expends more calories, it's called non-exercise activity thermogenesis. The more you move around, the more calories you burn, which means you lose more fat and you get to eat more as well. That's healthy. But you know what, you can't just paste together a bunch of workouts whenever you want and expect results. It takes proper structure, it takes planning and then executing that plan if you want real results. You can't just do a bunch of dips or burpees whenever you want. That's not good for you. Moreover, you need to warm up before you do any sort of exercise. Your joints need to be lubricated and free and ready to move and take all that stress. So yeah, you gotta warm up no matter what you're about to do. And it's better to schedule a workout each day and prioritize it, make time for it, rather than doing stuff like this. 12. Put pressure on yourself. How many of you have said, okay, tomorrow I'm definitely starting my workout routine? You know what happens next. You wake up and the person the night before who was determined to get fit no longer exists. You say, hmm, okay, maybe I'll start tomorrow. Tomorrow never comes as the saying goes. Well, the fitness experts have a kind of hack for this. They say pack your workout gear into a bag the night before. Put that bag close to the house or apartment door or even in your car. If you've gone to that much effort, you will likely work out. Taking all the stuff out of the bag is an effort in itself and it'll make you feel like a very lazy well, person. Well, it is a good idea to plan in advance for sure. You gotta prepare your gym bag 
and have everything ready and sometimes people have cold feet or they feel lazy at the last moment they don't want to work out the best advice i can give in this sort of a scenario is just do the warm up if you're still not feeling up to it you still don't feel like working out after doing the warm up you can skip it it's not your day but 99% of times you do your warm up and you're ready you're ready to go and work out and you'll even want to work out at that point so yeah it takes some time to make it a habit you need to force yourself a little bit to exercise discipline and get ready to work out honestly it's all about pushing yourself beyond and outside your comfort zone and just taking it one step ahead each and every single day According to the health experts, a lot of people don't even start working out because it just looks like too much work. Well, then don't make it too hard. Start your routine if you want as a five-minute workout, not one long session that almost kills you. If you start with a difficult workout like that, it's likely you won't go back. Something is better than nothing. Go easy on yourself. When you're watching the TV in the room, maybe plank for 10 seconds. Trust us, this is better than nothing at all. We know it's not something you'll hear often from those great motivators of mankind, but set the bar low if you aren't used to working out. Well. You know what I already talked about this point before doing 10 seconds of plank when you are free really it's not going to do anything and a 5 minute workout you ain't going to get shit with that all right a lot of people have gotten soft in this time in today's world we just want instant results we're looking for that instant gratification the entire time you know what you want results you're going to have to earn it you need to work for it i'm not asking you to work really hard and work your ass off the first day you enter the gym or you start working out it's all right take it easy take a month to just learn the exercise techniques and get in the groove make it a part of your routine and yeah and slowly and gradually build up the intensity and difficulty of the workout as you get better and better but you know what you'll have to invest in more than 5 minutes that's just ridiculous if you're not willing to invest at least 30 to 45 minutes per day to take care of your health and fitness think about it it's not a priority which means you cannot realistically be expecting any sort of tangible results from it There should always be a payoff for working out, whether that's how it affects your body or perhaps it's what you can put into your body. Get in the habit of rewarding yourself for what you do. 10 press-ups in the living room is a job well done. Now you can actually start playing that video game or give yourself a snack. When you start doing this, you'll actually feel guilty if you don't work out before you can eat or relax. Maybe if you go to the gym, do something enjoyable after each session. When you do this, your brain starts to relate the gym with that blissful activity and you'll go back again. Well, the reward system thing, it might work for somebody that's a 9 year old or an 8 year old but as a grown up come on the motivation itself is that you're going to get results by working out what else do you need you're treating working out like hey i did all this work that i don't really like now i need some additional reward apart from the fact that doing this is going to make my life better it's going to get me in better shape it's going to make me more healthy it'll improve me in every possible way working out itself is a reward at least for me it is after doing it for so many years now i look at working out as a release it's that one part of the day which i look forward to the most so that's all i got to say start enjoying the process if you don't enjoy the process you won't sustain it for long enough to see real results so yeah do what works for you but then again make sure you enjoy it Even if you don't have a routine at all, just buy some dumbbells and perhaps some kettlebells and leave them in the bedroom, kitchen, living room, garden, etc. It's very likely that when you see them, you'll occasionally pick them up. While getting equipments to train at home like dumbbells or kettlebells, barbell weight plates, whatever it is. Of course, it's a good idea. You need to invest in equipments that you can train at home with, especially in times like this during the pandemic where the gyms keep getting shut down and open over and over again. We never know what's going to happen, so the best thing to do is be accountable and how do you do that by getting the equipments which you can use to start training at home it's great but yeah your only motivation to work out shouldn't be hey i just bought a dumbbell it's lying over there why not just use it no that doesn't work plan ahead and then execute it you need to be tough in your mind that's the only way you're going to get this done intermittent fasting is the great lazy person's diet it really takes no effort in fact it's easier than actually eating because you don't have to cook or even move many studies these days will show you that intermittent fasting will make most people lose weight other studies show that it can have health benefits start with a 16 hour fast which means only eating in the evening and then eating around midday the next day reading forums about this a lot of people said once they've done it one time it was easy and they kept doing it many people said they also felt mentally agile as well as physically good you can also do 18 hour or 24 hour fasts it's not bad for your health but best if you're in good health before you fast if you have health problems talk to your doctor about fasting before trying it also make sure you drink water throughout the fast all right all right intermittent fasting 
I genuinely think it's a great diet for a lot of people, but it's not for everyone. All right. First of all, make sure you're all right. You're healthy enough to do it by consulting your doctor. But yeah, most people should be good enough to do it. Here's the deal. Why does intermittent fasting work? When you're cutting out 16 hours or more of your day by not eating, by just fasting, you have just eight hours or lesser than that to eat. That's your eating window. When you have such a limited time to eat, automatically the amount of food that you eat in that time goes down, which means you're consuming lesser calories. If you eat lesser calories than you burn, you will lose fat. That's why it works. But yeah, what's more important than just following intermittent fasting is that make it a lifestyle change. Make it a habit that you actually can sustain for the long run. That's all it comes down to. Let's say you're doing intermittent fasting. You see a lot of results in the short term. But after that, you quit intermittent fasting and then you default back to your older ways, eating the same old junk food, overeating the food. And then guess what? All the results you got while intermittent fasting, it's gone. So make sure that you make the actual changes in your lifestyle and not just following a diet for a short period of time. Listen to a podcast or an audiobook while you're exercising and tell yourself you can only listen to it when you're exercising. If it's interesting, you'll want to go back to it and so you'll have to do more exercise. Well, that's a tip that I really do agree with. I personally listen to a podcast every single time that I'm working out. Sometimes music too when I need that extra motivation. But yeah, podcast, it's a great way to get two things done at once. Hit two birds with one stone basically. You're working out, it's very productive. You're taking care of your health and fitness. And at the same time, you're also getting in some knowledge. So it's a great way to maximize efficiency of your time used, right? So yeah, I really do enjoy listening to a podcast while working out and it's a great tip. Treat exercise like a drinking game. You can do this with your friends. You all know the drinking game in which you must drink when someone on TV does something or says something? Yes, it can get you quite drunk. Well, do the same, but change drinking to say push-ups or sit-ups. Maybe you're watching a movie with your friend and you split characters in that movie. Every time character A does this, your friend must do five push-ups. And every time character B does this, you must do some exercise. It's fun and it's great seeing your buddy sweat it out. You know what, this is the third time they brought this kind of a tip back into this video. They're talking about doing exercise when you're free, just do a little bit, just do this one thing and it's going to amount to something big. It won't. It won't. You need to plan ahead and then execute. You need to prioritize time and effort into seeing tangible results. That's the way it works. Sure, if you want to work out with your buddies and just make it into a drinking game sort of thing, sure, that's just for fun, but don't expect any results from it. What if you don't like doing much but playing video games and watching YouTube videos? Then get yourself an exercise bike and do your playing and watching while on that bike. In fact, it's said with games, the more intense it gets, you'll actually pedal faster. You won't even know you're working out, burning tons of calories and getting fit. I do something similar when I'm doing cardio, basically on a treadmill or a stationary cycle or an elliptical, whatever it is. You're on that stationary machine and you're just trying to burn a few calories. Push yourself a little bit. Yeah, it's going to help you a lot. Cardio is going to help you burn fat and at times it can get boring. So what do you do? You can watch something on your phone or listening to something, whatever it is. Cardio is just like a leisure free time thing that also helps you achieve your fitness goals at the same time. That's a decent tip. I agree with that. Don't join a gym or get a personal trainer. Don't join a gym or get a personal trainer. Yeah, you won't often hear this. Basically, the gym costs money and personal trainers cost a personal a attack. You've been thinking about both for a while now, but hey, save yourself some money. Do the workouts at home or in the street and then pay yourself the cash you've saved. Well, here's the deal. There's many benefits of getting a personal trainer. First thing is most people are clueless about what to do, how to get ahead with their workouts. So yeah, having an expert guide you through the process, it can definitely save you a lot of time and get your results a lot quickly. And yeah, there are a lot of personal trainers out there who are just minting you off your money, not really adding any value. You need to be mindful of those kind of people. Be careful where your money goes. And certainly you can work out by yourself. That's what I've done for most of my training. Basically for the first year of my training, I had a personal trainer who helped me with the basics and stuff. Ever since then, I just took care of it myself. I was so into fitness, so interested in it that I started investing more time and effort into learning more about it, reading books, listening to podcasts, watching videos, doing online courses, etc, etc. That's how you learn and grow by your personal experience. 
and nothing can honestly trump personal effort and experience but having a trainer can certainly help especially if you have a good one anyone who's taken up exercise will tell you this start doing your routine with another person who's about as good as you none of you will want to let the other down and you might also start to get a bit competitive which is good having another person around you will motivate you on those days you just can't be bothered they will be the boost you need well, there's two sides of it the positive is of course that you can work out with somebody that also has the same level of enthusiasm and motivation to work out as you you can help each other and it's going to be all great yeah that's good the bad side of it however there are some people who are just energy leeches they're out there they're so pessimistic when you're working out they're constantly talking and disturbing you not letting you get in the workout with the same level of intensity and effort and focus that you need that's bad some people are just out there to socialize and not really work out when the workout becomes secondary and socializing becomes the primary objective it's bad it's better if you work out alone in that scenario but yeah having a good spot or somebody that's a good training partner can definitely be a good boost make the house a great big circuit this means every time you go into a certain room you have to do a certain exercise you might try and avoid the kitchen because in there you have to do a number of squats maybe just start with one squat the bedroom is the part of the circuit that you have to do a push-up or a number of push-ups the living room is where you have to do your planking of course because as we said planking and the tv go hand in hand do your lunges in another room this might sound like hard work but when you've done it once it just becomes a habit as we've said before too set the bar low do what's easy for you at first and build up soon enough you'll start feeling proud when you've made progress rome wasn't built in it no god no god please no 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 just no don't do stuff like this. this is the fourth point within the same video that talks about the exact same bullshit by doing this you're not really accomplishing any goals you're just wasting your time and most of all you're gonna end up loathing exercise you're going to hate it just carry on with your everyday life like you're supposed to and then work out in a designated time prioritize it stop treating yourself like a circus act all right let's move on the last point let's hope that it's gonna be good look good invest a decent amount of money in what you wear to the gym this will motivate you to actually wear that stuff and when you do wear it you'll feel good you'll need to enjoy wearing that gear another thing let's face it many people work out because they want to look attractive to people nice clothes will already make you look good and the more working out you do the better those clothes will look spend an amount of money on the clothes that you really feel you must use them once you're at the gym or the running track you may end up having a crush on someone and we can tell you from experience that this is the greatest motivator of all time if you're dressed well you'll feel confident in front of this person and you'll want to keep seeing them this will mean you'll have to keep working out and hey if you ever start a relationship with them you have a workout partner beats meeting someone in a bar and having a drinking partner all right all that rom-com type fantasy aside yeah getting a good workout outfit is definitely going to help first thing is obviously going to motivate you whenever i put on my dragon ball z tank top or my wwe themed outfits it's an automatic motivation because there's something more to that cloth or that outfit than just being a garment right it's automatically motivating that's what i feel but then again you're out there to work out it's not a fashion show keep your head down get in there work out finish it and then move out pretty simple isn't it and yeah socializing there you meet someone that also has the same interests as you that's a great bonus but then again what's your purpose of going to the gym work out get results and walk out pretty simple i know i might seem like i'm pretty strict i'd be pretty strict as a trainer but honestly i'm not this is the way i like to treat myself because this is what fitness means to me but then again make sure you enjoy the process and make it your own that's all i got to say in this video hope you found some value out of it and it was interesting an actual fitness expert reacting to people who are reacting to fitness experts perceptions i suppose that's what this video was all about if you enjoyed the video hit the thumbs up comment down below what are the content you want me to cover in the future hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you get all the notifications on time and so that you can control what you watch rather than letting the youtube algorithm dictate what videos that you watch and that's all i got to say until next time take care stay hungry